असलम फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड एंजॉइंग लर्निंग विद लैंग्वेज एंड लिंग्विस्टिक्स दिस वन इज लेक्चर नंबर फाइव एंड द पार्ट टू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कोर एरियाज ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड प्रोस्क्रिप्टिव वर्सेज डिस्क्रिप्टिव फेरोल वर्सेज लैंग्वेज एंड परफॉर्मेंस वर्सेज कॉम्पिटेंस सो लेट्स मूव टू आर फर्स्ट स्लाइड टू टॉक अबाउट द कोर एरियाज ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स but before moving to the slide i would like to say you please subscribe language and linguistics for getting all new videos and important concepts based on linguistics core areas of linguistics system or structure of a language that is called language or competence it can be described at four different levels these levels make the core areas of linguistics these areas are also called microlinguistics in microlinguistics we have phonetics phonology morphology syntax lexicology and semantics about microlinguistics we have discussed in the first part of this lecture but in this second part of lecture we are going to concentrate on macrolinguistics macrolinguistics consist of 12 different areas those are given here in the diagram computational linguistics social linguistics contrastive linguistics neurolinguistic psycholinguistics discourse text analysis or stylistic historical diachronic linguistics psychronic linguistics applied linguistics dialectology and comparative linguistics in macrolinguistics first four branches are called language variation and they are labeled as variational linguistics first one is dialectology it is at the interface between linguistics and geography it is the study of regional variation within a language social linguistics connects linguistics with sociology it is concerned with language variation according to age sex social class and third one is ethnolinguistics it overlaps with anthropology and investigates language variation and the part language plays in ethnic groups all three dialectology social linguistics and ethnography study the way language is used in different speech communities and referred to as social linguistics or you can say you can study dialectology social linguistics and ethnolinguistics within the umbrella of social linguistics language variety spoken in a particular speech community is referred to as alect speaker speak dialects social act and ethnolect speech of an individual person is called an idiolect discourse analysis text linguistics or stylistics is also within the area of the variation of language so discourse analysis and stylistics or related branches and deal with linguistic variations it studies the characteristics of different text speech text type especially between the sentence level language of these text type is communicated either through the medium of speech it can be personal conversation broadcast discussion or lecture or through the medium of writing that can be personal letter newspapers articles and academic papers linguistics or linguists are primarily interested in spoken language one important field of study which connects linguistics with literary science is the characteristic use of language in literary works which is called stylistics fifth one is contrastive linguistics that describes the similarities and differences between two or more modern languages especially in order to improve language teaching and translation sixth one is psycholinguistics in macrolinguistics Psycholinguistics overlaps with psychology and explores mental aspects of language such as language learning. At number 7, we have 
neurolinguistics it overlaps with the medical science and investigates the connection between language and the nervous system it is especially interested in the neurological process that is necessary to produce speech sound and language disorder at number 8 we have computational linguistics which overlaps with artificial intelligence some of its concerns are machine translation automatic speech recognition and speech simulation at number 9 we have applied linguistics it concerns with the practical application of language especially the field of foreign language teaching at number 10 we have psychonic linguistics it studies the state of language or variety at one particular period of time for example present day english or english at the time of shakespeare in number 11 we have historical or diachronic linguistics it studies and compare the states of a language or variety at different points in time it connects linguistics with history and is concerned with language change and with the origin of words finally at number 12 we have comparative linguistics it also compares the state of language or varieties at different points in time but uses its finding to study the historical relations between different languages let's have a look on important points of this lecture microlinguistics is theoretical in nature whereas macrolinguistics is practical and applied one dialectology social linguistics ethnolinguistics and discourse text analysis are called variation linguistics at number 3 psychonic linguistics studies the state of a language or variety at one particular period of time in contrast historical or diachronic linguistics study and compare the states of a language or variety at different points in time so the basic difference is studying language at one particular period of time and studying language at different periods of time these are the basic difference between psychonic and diachronic linguistics thank you for watching please like share and subscribe language and linguistics in order to get a notification of all new videos instantly you can also find the pdf file of this lecture in the description section